as you can see, Life Magazine printed a special edition all about how George Lucas started Star Wars. Problem is, I'm not mentioned in it, and how he got Jedi Knights of the Force is not mentioned in it. So basically, what Life Magazine did was print garbage, because the truth is part of the truth is missing. <laughs> My grandmother kept Life magazines on her shelf her whole life. When we were younger, we could always go in there, pull out a Life magazine, read something. Um, Life magazines, like, I've, I've known them my whole life. I mean, it seemed like I've always, you know, known Life magazine. But now here's one that's not even true because of him. Lying to everyone. 45 years ago, George Lucas stole Jedi Knights in the Force from me, told me he was going to make me rich and famous on the phone at his cousin Jack Hamburger's house. You don't believe it? I'm sorry. That's that's your problem because he knows it's true. God knows it's true. I know it's true. Now Life Magazine's printing this story. I see... Excuse me. I start to say something else. But you know, I'm trying to keep a civil tongue here and it's been hard because you know there's been moments when people like uh, literally like one place I worked someone found out and I was really basically the laughing stock of the company and I said you know what I'll never tell anyone at work again so I left that place of employment <laughs> went somewhere else and sure enough here's one of the guys who worked there also now working so then people find out again and it starts all over again so there entailed about 14 years of my life of being ridiculed because of him lying and not ever telling the truth I mean I literally had guys go you didn't write Star Trek and I go oh my god you know I never said I wrote it wrote Star Trek Never even said I wrote Star Wars, which is actually what this is about. George Lucas wrote Star Wars or whoever he had write it for him. I don't, I don't, that's not my business. What is my business is he took Jedi Knights in the Force from me and promised me to make me rich and famous. So that is my business. Any of you using Jedi Knights in the Force and you're, you didn't, you never had my permission. George Lucas uh, offered something in return to use that and he didn't. He made a, a oral contract with a seven year old ch child. So, uh, you know what he he's violated it and he's committed fraud and oral fraud whether it's a violation of an uh, oral contract it's fraud you know he defrauded me so you know um, not to mention not to mention that uh, several months after that incident or a few months or maybe even a month I was in West Palm Beach Florida I put Jedi Knights in the Force on a paper 1974. And I had it stored in my in a little document sleeve. I've showed it uh, um, many times in my other videos. Um, I had a uh, medical records and an immunization book, my birth certificate, my GED, all kinds of stuff of mine from from the time I was a child till I was in my, in a young adult it was stored in that plastic sleeve. And each one of my brothers also had one of their own. So we all three had one. They kept our own personal documents and mine disappeared. And I had asked my brothers on the phone to go get it, take it out of storage, send it to me. They're the only ones who knew where it was other than my mother. So between my two brothers and my mother, if one of them didn't sell me out and, and to get something, because none of them are rich. So obviously if they did sell me out, they really took a shaft on that one because they didn't get, get nothing. <laughs> They're, none of them are comfortable, so they didn't. They obviously didn't get enough um, for it. If that's the case, um, if that's not the case, then the other case being that uh, he was spying on me. He had a guy come to visit me in Bedford, Ohio, named Bob Frederick. Uh, eventually, he told me he worked for the FBI or had worked for the FBI. Um, he knew information about somebody who lived there before and was first pretended that he, he was looking for them. So obviously he had access to some kind of information uh, where he was able to tell me who used to live there. And I knew who lived there because I used to get her mail when I moved there. So, um, but later he told me who he, who he really was and who he worked for. 
Bob Frederick, uh, worked for George Lucas, and you can't be... So I wrote George Lucas a couple letters, and, you know, I was really friendly in the first few, and I was just like, hey, you remember me? Remember 1974? I was trying to be polite. He kept ignoring me. I started getting mad. I kind of sort of... I found out he was in a car wreck. I kind of said something wishful thing, you know, kind of mean, you know, about, about the car wreck should have taught you a lesson or something. I don't even remember that. I said something else. I don't. I don't have. I don't recollect exactly what I said, but I didn't really threaten him. So if I had, I would have been in jail. Y'all know that, and uh, you can't threaten anybody like that. And you, you would be in jail pretty quick. Uh, so the police told me that I should uh, call a lawyer, and I, I contacted so many lawyers. Uh, nobody wants to believe him, and uh, that he, that he stole from a seven-year-old kid, and. Um, nonetheless, my, all my document sleeve and all that stuff vanished. So somebody got into my stuff, whether it was through the phone call, whether they, which would only, if they were, um, if they did get it and they were tapping my phone, that means I was, I was a victim, also a victim of, uh, a declassified, um, what do they call that? Illegal dissemination of classified information, because if you're being, watched and they tell that information that's unmasking you that's illegal that's a uh, dissemination of classified information so i mean but being a billionaire i'm sure he could afford to get the fbi out of their pay for him to uh to look at their uh Ill illegally um um uh, obtained information that they uh got by listening to me tell my brothers to go get my sleeve and now it's gone my information's gone. I still remember exactly what the piece of paper looked like. I ran into it in 99. Me and my mother both held it in our hands. <clears throat> All my other stuff's gone. My childhood medical records, my document sleeve, my immunization book. All of it's gone. I want my stuff back. I really do. That's my stuff. It belongs to me. I don't know why, why in the world you would have to go that far and not just take the piece of paper and leave the rest of my stuff alone. Um, I want I want my stuff back. I want my immunization book. I want my medical records. You know. Anyway, none of you can even understand, begin to fathom what I've what I've dealt with over this, and um, the fact that I know it's true. And I, every time I turn on the TV, I see him or something to do with him. It's not like it's something I could escape. You know. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I'm, you know, I'm not even rich enough to leave the country and not watch TV anymore. You know what I'm saying? So I can't get away from it. I go everywhere I turn, I hear it, I hear people talking about going to see it. It's, it's 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 sick. It's sick for me to have to listen to it when I know what happened. You know, I I, I like Star Wars until 1999 when my mother was telling the story. And again, you can go back and watch my other videos. I'm not going back into it, but. Now he's altered a Life magazine that's that's never going to be right. It's 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 garbage now, because it's not even true. What's in there is not true because it's not a hundred percent true. It's like, how do you fix a whole magazine that you let get printed with a lie in it, and left out half the truth? I mean, that's not. It might as well. Like I said, if you take out the fraud, the part where he defrauded me, and I said this in the last video. The F for fraud out of Life magazine, you get up with Lie magazine because that's what you got. You have a lie. You have a printed lie right in a book. And everybody's got this thing. Lie magazine. That's what it is. It's a lie. And thanks to George Lucas because he's too afraid to tell the truth. Whether he sold out on him. I don't, I don't know if he ever really planned on ever keeping his word. He sold out or somebody's got his tongue, you know. Somebody's got something on him and keeping him quiet. I don't know what it is, but he knows I'm telling the truth. He knows he stole it from me. He's never going to tell the truth, but I'm not going to ever stop until somebody listens because, or everybody listens because I've written everyone. So, again, um, take care, people. Uh, don't put all your faith in George Lucas because, you know what, you put your faith in God. You be a real hero, like I said, and not some uh, uh, fraud be your hero, all right? Bye.